let's write a program to short an array. We will be using bubble short method to short the array in ascending order. This method traverses a list and compares adjacent values, swapping them if they are not in correct order. Create a new file in code blocks and save it as s5-05.c. Include the header file as include open close angular brackets std io dot h write the main function int main open close parenthesis void as parameter open close curly brace return zero semicolon declare an integer array and four other integer variables int marks open close brackets 10 comma i comma j comma num comma temp semicolon prompt the user how many marks to store printf open close parenthesis semicolon within double quotes write how many marks to store within brackets max is 10 as usual store in num scanf open close parenthesis semicolon within double quotes write percent d because we are going to store integer value comma ampersand num using a for loop populate the array from user input for open close parenthesis i equals to 0 semicolon i less than num semicolon i plus plus open close curly brace printf open close parenthesis semicolon within double quotes write backslash in enter marks percent d colon space comma i plus one scanf open close parenthesis semicolon within double quotes percent d comma ampersand marks within brackets i next we need two for loops for bubble short for open close parenthesis i equals to 0 semicolon i less than num semicolon i plus plus open close curly brace the inner for loop for open close parenthesis j equals to i plus 1 semicolon j less than num semicolon j plus plus check if marks i is greater than marks j if marks within brackets i is greater than marks within brackets j open close curly brace if true swap the values temp equals to marks i semicolon marks within brackets i equals to marks within brackets j marks within brackets j equals to temp then after this outer for loop you can print this line before printing the sorted array printf Open close parenthesis, semicolon, within double quotes, write backslash in, give three dashes, sorted marks list, again three dashes, backslash in. Using a for loop, print the array elements. For 
Control parenthesis i equals to 0 i less than num i plus plus printf open close parenthesis semicolon within double quotes write person d space comma marks within brackets i here we have declared an integer array and four other integer variables we then stored the number of marks the array is going to hold next using a for loop we populated the array from user input then we write the bubble short logic using two for loops let's assume we have this array 2 5 4 1 3 in the first pass 2 and 1 swaps since 2 greater than 1 after first pass the array becomes 1 5 4 2 3 as you can see after pass 1 the smallest element 1 in this case has reached its correct position extreme left in second pass 5 and 4 swaps since 5 greater than 4 and 4 and 2 swaps since 4 greater than 2 after second pass the array becomes 1 2 5 4 3 in the third pass 5 and 4 swaps since 5 greater than 4 and 4 and 3 swaps since 4 greater than 3 after third pass the array becomes 1 2 3 5 4 in the fourth pass 5 and 4 swaps and the array becomes 1 2 3 4 5 now the largest element 5 in this case has reached the last position the algorithm needs one whole pass without swap even if the array is already sorted since it has to continue n iterations where n equals to number of elements in the array. Press F9 to run the program. How many marks to store? Let's say 5, enter marks 1, minus 2, enter marks 2, 5, Enter marks 3, 3, 9, and 0. The sorted marks list minus 2, 0, 3, 5, 9. Perfect. As you can see, the array has been perfectly sorted in ascending order. Thanks for watching. See you in the next lecture.